Hi guys, got a request here from Joe McGurk. Got to carry an egg for 15 metres using one elastic band and any material I like. Well, one elastic band really doesn't mean anything. You can use any size and it'll still just be one. Any material, I could just use one of my ordinary rubber band powered cars. They'll probably do 15 metres with no trouble. I might have a problem measuring 15 metres, because I think the furthest I can go in my house, from the front door, through the hallway, through the kitchen, through the conservatory to the back, is I think it's 14 metres, not 15. So we'll just have to see if we can do that far and assume that if it hits the door at the far end it could have rolled on a bit further. To make it, I've got some styrofoam packaging here that I'll use. For no special reason, not because it's super lightweight or anything, but simply because this is lying around in my workroom here and I've been looking for something to use it for. So it's a bit flexible, so I think if I glue that piece on top of it, that'll stiffen it up a bit. And we'll just put a drinking straw or something at one end for the axle to go through, and the same at the other end. Not sure how long to make it. I don't know, 12 inches, something like that. Whatever my... Uh, ruler measures when I cut it and what else have we got? Oh, I told the egg. I've got an egg box so I'll just glue that on it somewhere and we'll see if it works. First thing I'll do is put the front axle tube on. I've cut it just a bit wider than the width of the styrofoam I'll put a bit more hot glue on it in a minute when that's cooled down. That's just to hold it in place. That's the front end. I've got some shorter bits of the drinking straw that I'll use for the back axle tubes. Again, we want them to stick out just a little bit. Keep the wheels away from the chassis. Just let that cool down and I'll do the other one. So that's the back axle tubes in place. I'll now glue this piece in that will stiffen it. that still while it cools down. At the back here we need to make sure that there's space to wrap the rubber band round the axle. In fact I'm not going to wrap the rubber band straight round the axle, I'm going to tie a bit of string to it and wrap the string round the axle. But either way I should just carve a little bit away here to make sure there's clearance. enough. Barbecue skewers for the axles. Yeah, that should be alright. Now the string's going to come along here and then it's going to go round the axle so it might actually dig in there. I shall have to trim that away a bit. To hold the rubber band at the front I've just pushed a bit of barbecue skewer through there so we can put the rubber band just there and then to 
put the egg box on, I've put a couple of spaces there that are the same height as that, and I'll just glue that straight on. I'm keeping it near the back because the extra weight should help the wheels grip. For wheels, I'll just use my normal CDs with milk bottle tops as the hubs. If you have a look at the video description, there'll be a link on how to make these, so I don't waste time building them on this video. So that's the front. I'll get a couple more for the back. That's the car ready. I'll try this rubber band first. I'm not quite sure what size it is, and it's not a particularly flexible one. Uh, it's about three and a quarter inches long, and about a quarter of an inch wide, roughly, slightly less. But it's quite thick. And to connect it to the back axle, I'll use this kite string, just because it's thin and flat and strong. And I'll put something on the back axle to hook it onto. I'll probably use a cable tie, I think. They're usually quite handy. Now we need to connect the rubber band to the kite string as I'm using. So I'm just going to tie a big loop in there. And then it's probably not going to be very clear when I do it. just push the loop over it. And I'll shove that up through there and connect it onto the barbecue skewer going through there. But we also need it to be the right sort of length. to adjust this a couple of times to get it just right. If it's too long it'll get caught up on the axle. It won't come free and you need it to come free so that the car freewheels at the end of the run. If it's too short you won't get the full benefit of it um, winding up. So there's our loop of string I may have made it a little bit too long. We'll find out when we try it out. But that just hooks over there. And then we wind it up. came off absolutely fine but if it doesn't come off and gets stuck what happens is as the wheel and the axle continues to go forwards it starts winding the rubber band up backwards so it must come off. We're actually out the front of my house at the moment looking through the front door, through my hallway, through the kitchen through to the conservatory, which is about 12 metres in total. We've got the egg sitting in the egg box. I've wound the axle up already. All we've got to do is try and avoid hitting that doorway on the way through. So we can try and get the full distance. 
Ready? There we go. That was 12 metres easily. So I think we had to do 15, didn't we? Well, there's no way I can do 15. I haven't got the space. But we've done 12 metres with no trouble whatsoever. Job done.